The parties in this case are the state of Missouri on one side and the Trinity Lutheran uh, Church and School on the other. Uh, Trinity Lutheran runs a, a preschool, uh, the Learning Center they call it, and the Learning Center applied for a grant from the state, which uh, the state runs a program to help to recycle used tires. The Trinity Lutheran School wanted to use these recycled tires, the scrap rubber, uh, to resurface a playground for the kids. And their application for this program was uh, a solid one in every respect but they were nonetheless denied for only one reason, and that's because Trinity Lutheran is uh, run by a church. It's important to realize in this case that we're not talking about funds going to religious purposes. We're not talking about paying for the training of ministers. What this program does is entirely secular. It protects kids from harm. It helps recycle tires. The core issue in the case is whether the Constitution permits Missouri to discriminate against Trinity Lutheran simply because Trinity Lutheran is run by a church. Missouri has a, a law of its own which provides that no money from the state treasury is supposed to go to any sect or denomination. The Supreme Court's going to have to decide whether the Missouri provision can stand if it's in conflict with the First Amendment. What Trinity Lutheran wants is for the Supreme Court to say that the U.S. Constitution, the First Amendment and the 14th Amendment, trump this Missouri provision that requires discrimination against religious entities. The state's best argument is that the Supreme Court has said that states have some leeway to build a higher wall of separation than the First Amendment requires. That the First Amendment shouldn't be understood as imposing a sort of one-size-fits-all uh, rule on all the states. If Trinity Lutheran wins, that could be a real benefit to supporters of school choice, to those who are trying to make sure that all schools, whether religious or secular, have a chance to participate in uh, voucher programs or school choice programs. This case is about whether or not religious institutions have to be treated equally to non-religious institutions when it comes to public benefits and public programs.